Nazif uh, Sir Yes Hello Hello Yes, I can hear you Sir, I haven't taken yesterday's class so last class so I cannot tell Okay, no problem Miss Noorul Jannah what is in the first one? Say, say, you have not taken it. You have not studied it. Yeah, this means we have to use our own language. We can use any appropriate word here. So, Nazif means clean. So, we need to use any word which is clean. Let me check the page number again in the group. D25. Yes, the page is correct. D25. So we need to use anything which is clean. For example, the shirt is clean. So we say Al Kamisu Nazifun. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. So, Miss Vidad, what is in the first blank? Al Mindilu Nadifu. Correct. Translation. Oh, the handkerchief is clean. Next. Al Qalamu Maksuru. Yes. The pen is broken. Yes. Al Labanu Baridu. Uh, the milk is cold. Yes. Al Beitu Karibu. The house is close or near? Near, yes. Near, okay. Al Masjidu Baidu. The masjid is far. Correct. Next student we have is Ms. Rahatnaz. Yes, sir. What is in this one? Number six. Sir, I don't know. I miss so many classes. Okay. You better provide the recording of classes. Miss Sabina. Rajulu Wakif. Wakifun. Rajulu. The man is the man is uh, standing. Talibu uh, Jalison. Uh, uh, yes. The students are sitting. The, the student, student is sitting. Uh, oh, yeah, Al Waladu Jalison. The, the boy is sitting. Al Baitu Kabirun. The house is big. Al Bait as. Sizu Kadim. Sorry. Sir, Al Daftaru Kadimo, the notebook is old. Okay. Al Kamisun Jadidun, Al Mudarisu Jadidun, Jadidun. Okay. Uh, the teacher is new. Al Kalimatul Jadida, new words. Miss Midad. Swidad, Mr. Jawad. Yes, sir. What meaning? Al Qamar means the moon. Jad. 
means uh, new Qadim. Sir, can you hear me? Yes. Qadim means Sir, can old. you hear me? Qadim mean old. I think he has some internet problem. Miss Karima. Uh, from Wasikon? Yes. Uh, Wasikon means dirty. Uh, Nawifun means clean. Harun means hot. Baridun means cold. Uh, Sagirun small. Kabirun large or big. Yeah. Uh, maktuhun open, maksurun broken, sakilun heavy, hafifun light, jamilun beautiful, wakifun standing up, stood up, and jalis sitting down. Wakifun standing, jalisun sitting. Next, we have this Najmun A star, An Najmu D star. Basically, whenever we have Shadda, Lam becomes silent. Rajulun Amen. Ar Rajulu di men. Dikun rooster. Ad diku di rooster. So Miss Noor, read this. Yeah. Read this. Najamun star. An Najam that star. Uh, Rajulun Amen or Rajulu Damen Dikun and Dikun a rooster at Diku the rooster Talibun uh, a student a Talibu the student. Next. And Najmun. An Najmul Baidu, the star is far. Okay. Uh, Ar Rajul Ar Wakifun, the man is. So what is meaning of Wakifun? Standing. The man is standing. Okay. Okay. The man is standing. Asukurun uh, hulu, the sugar is sweet. The sugar is sweet. So what? The sugar is sweet. Chini miti hai. A tolibun. A sweet. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Asukur, asukurun hul, hulun. The, the sugar is sweet. A talibun marizun, the student is uh, sick. A dikun jamilun, the rooster is uh, beautiful. A dakhturun jadidun, the opposite is new. The merchant is uh, the merchant is Miss Sabina. Yes, sir. Tajiru Ghaniyun is the merchant is rich. Dukanun Maftuhun, the shop is open, or the shop is open. Al Waladu Fakirun, the boy is poor. At Tufahun Lazizun, the apple is delicious. At Tabibu Tavilun, Marizun Qasir, the doctor is tall and the uh, and the Patient is short. Patient is short. The marine exercise. Ikra waktub ma dapti awahir karimat. Read and write with correct ending of the word, with the vowelization of the last word. So basically, he wants you to read the last uh, vowel as well. Miss Kazin. This will be a little difficult for you at the moment. So 
basically this is for those who are already this book is for those who have already completed their basic reading course so when you will complete that then you will understand this book okay at the moment you will not understand anything from here so mr vidad read this by alwal miss vidad yeah i'm listening um i to oh ar rajlu an rajlu ghaniyun no no first question oh al bab al bab meaning at taj al bab is the door the door the door right the door at taj the merchant an najm the star al qamar the moon ad dik the rooster al ma the water next student mr jawad yes sir as sarir the bed you need to read the last vowel also he is asking you to read the last vowel zabti aw akhir al kalimat last vowel as sarir as sarir like this as sarir okay as sarir the bed al baitu the house al masjid the mosque ar rajal ar rajul the man as sakar as sakaru as sukaru as sukaru the sugar al waraq the page imla al faragh fi ma yali bi wadi kalimatin munasiba fill in the blanks which are below by putting a appropriate word miss karima um aniyun you can say atajiru aniyun second one um hulun asukar hulun akaka hulun maridun al arrijalu marid ar rajulu marid ar rajulu marid al kaka laziz no sorry al khubzu laziz al khubzu laziz ar rajulu tawil kasir al waladu kasir al waladu kasir ikhtar kalimatan min al qaimati ba tunasib al kalimat allati fi al qaimati hamza choose a word from the column b from the list b which is appropriate to the word in the list a basically it is a match the column nothing else miss noor yeah at atalibu marizun okay um ad dukan muftuhun maftuhun al al tufahun al tufahun maksurun no so al maun listen sakilu at tufahu lazi al maun tufahu lazizun apple is delicious okay. tasty atfahu lazizun okay okay al maw water maksur al maw the water yeah uh al maw harun the water is hot sakilun al maw harun hot ha ya al maw harun Yeah, al maun harun. The water is hot. Al hajaru maksurun. An al kalamu sakilun. Al hajaru sakilun. The stone is heavy. Al kalamu maksurun. The pen is broken. Okay. 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 Okay.
ओके ओके अल कलीमतुल जदीदा द न्यू वर्ड्स ओके सो मिस सुबीना यस सर हुलवन इज स्वीट मरीजुन सिक द दुकानुन इज शॉप अवनियुन रिच तवील टॉल फकीरुन पुअर कसीरुन शॉर्ट शमसिया Al huruf of Shamsia solar letters. What is the difference between them? In huruf of Kamaria, lam is pronounced. Al Abu, Al Babu, Al Jannatu, Al Himaru. Yeah. In huruf of Shamsia, the lam is silent. At Tajiru, At Sabu, At Diku, At Zahabu. This is the difference between them. There is a famous Quranic ayah. वशमसु वल कमरो, so from that these words are taken. Miss Vidad, read and tell the meaning as well. Okay, Al Abu, the father, Al Babu, the door, Al Janna, I guess Janna. Yes. Al Al Himaru, the donkey, Al Khubzu, the bread. Al Ainun, Al Ainu, the eye. Al Qadau, is it the lunch or tomorrow? The lunch. lunch. Yes. The lunch. Yeah. Al Famu, the mouth. Next student, Mr. Jawad. Miss Karima, where did we stop? At Kamar, Al Kamar. Yes. Uh, Al Kamaru, the moon. Al Kalbu, the dog. Al Ma'u, the, the water. Al Waladu, the boy. Uh, Al Hawa, um, Hawa, is it air? Yes, wind. Air. Okay, yeah, and al yad the hand. Correct. The hand. So move. Yes, sir. Read this. Uh, at Tajiru, the merchant. At Tajiru, uh, the merchant. Asaubu, Asaub, Asaubu. Uh, so, what is meaning? Uh, the dress. The dress, correct. Saubu, the dress. Adiku, the rooster. Uh, Azahabu, uh, what is that? The gold. G O L D. Yeah, the gold. Uh, the gold arrived. Yeah, Arajuru, the man, Azahara, the flat. Sir, can you hear? Yes, correct. Azahara, the flower. Asamako, the fish. Okay. At taste. As the flower. As asam, asamako, the fish. Next student, Miss Sabina. Uh, Shamsu the sun. Well, what does Asadaru means? I don't know. The I'm chest. Is the chest. Okay. Azaifu is the weak. Adaif, the, the guest. Is, 
الضيف the guest okay yes sir the talib the student az zahar sir i don't know zahar az zahar mean back okay b a c k back allahmu is the meat and anjmu the star tamarin exercises ikra al kalimat alati waktubha mamurayan qaida nutki la huruf al kamriya wa shamsiya read the following words and write them keeping in mind murayan keeping in mind the rules of pronunciation of solar or lunar letters and solar letters so basically in kamriya you will pronounce lam and in shamsiya lam will be silent البيت البيت the house الديك the rooster المدرس the teacher الباب the door الطالب the student السكر the sugar الدفتر the notebook الاخ the brother الرسول the prophet a messenger a messenger al wajh the face as sadiq uh, the friend as sadiq as sadiq as sadiq okay the friend al quran the quran next student mr jawad uh, as salat ياس <تصفيق> 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 الصابون، the soap، is it soap؟ yes. الظفر، I don't know الظفر. الظفر نيل. ah the nail. الفجر the dawn. الظهر، is it the afternoon؟ الظهر prayers. yes الظهر prayer. or is it the back؟ الظهر prayer. الأشر الظهر prayer. or الأشر the afternoon prayer. Uh, Maghrib the evening prayer, uh, sunset prayer, and Isha the night prayer. The night, the night. Alisha. body this is the class code you need to use this code in this new class okay so this book is drusul ugat al arbi i have already sent the ex exercise book for this few days back so you need to print that if anyone does not has that notebook you can ask me i will send you again inshallah so use this code to join the class and you need to submit your homework here okay
Sir, which homework have you given in this? Okay, let me tell you. Wait a second. I will send the WhatsApp so that you can learn. We have completed three lessons. You need to complete homework number one, okay? Until homework number one, you need to do these, this homework, which is homework number one. Question? Next, we have lesson number four. In this lesson, you will learn about preposition. Preposition in Arabic is known as al huruf in jar <clears throat> So, previously, you have studied that the normal ending of a noun in Arabic is Dhamma. So, when we were using Tanween with most of the nouns, but when we had Alif Lam, we were using only one vowel in the words. Now we will learn about Rufajar preposition. Whenever there is a preposition, we use Kasra instead of Dhamma. So you study this thing here. Mr. Nurul Janna, read this. Arabic nouns have ending to show their Continue, no. Arabic noun has have endings to show their functions and the sentence. The normal ending of noun is uh, as in. Is it dhamma? Okay, dhamma. Okay, dhamma. dhamma as in. The house is near. Al baytu jadidun. A noun with the normal ending is called marfu. After a preposition, this ending change to kasra. Kasra? Kasra. Al baytu fil bayti baytun fi baytin al maktubu al al maktabi. Maktabi. A noun preceded by a preposition is said to be majrurun. Majrur. Miss Noor, what is the normal ending of a noun in Arabic? Normal ending of noun? Yes. Normal ending is? Uh, mar uh, marfu. Dhamma, okay? Tanween, yeah. And any yeah. word which has Dhamma, it is called marfu. What happens when we use okay. harfajar with the noun? Then the, the ending will be changed into uh, kasara. Correct. The yeah, ending sure. changes into kasara. Next student, Miss Sabina. In this lesson, we also learn the two pronouns hua, he, it, and hiya, she, it. In Arabic, all nouns are either masculine or feminine. A masculine noun is referred to by pronoun hua, whether it denotes a human being, an animal, or a thing. For example, where is the boy? Aina huwal walada. Aina al walada. Then hua fi masjidi, he is in the mosque. So what is the meaning of hua? Hua means he or it. And he ya? She or it. So these two are the pronouns, the mair. Okay. Okay. Now read this. The word fi has a long i that is kasra. Long I mean long I mean yamadda. Yamadda. Okay. Yamadda. But when it is followed by al, the yamadda is shortened because in Arabic long vowels are not followed by a consonant which has no vowel. vowel. Fee, so simple word fee is alone. We 
elongated <coughs> fee. But when there is fee. a word with alif lam next to it, we keep it short. Fill. <coughs> so alone it is fee, which is long. But here we say fill, which is short. Next. Where is the book? Ain al kitabu. Huwa al al maktabi. It is on the table. And a feminine noun is referred to by pronoun here, whether it denotes a human being, an animal, or a thing. For example, Aina Amina. Where is Amina? Here, Phil Baiti. She is in the house. Aina Satu. Where is the watch? Here, Alal Sarir. He is on the. Here, Alas Sariru. It is on the bed. Most feminine nouns end with a round the, uh, um, but there are some which do not have any special endings. So there are a few signs of a uh, feminine word. So tamar Tama. is the first sign, and there are some other signs as well. Which does not have we'll study later, inshallah. Okay. Next one. We have learned that the tanwin is indefinite article. Example, baytu, baytun, a house. This rule does not apply to proper nouns. So hamidun is just hamid, not a hamid. Feminine proper nouns have no tanwin. Example, fatima, zainabu, aminatu. So here we learn two things. First thing, we will not use the meaning of tanwin in translation for proper noun. So we will not say Ahamid, we will just say Ahamid without the using that meaning of the meaning okay. translation. Okay. Previously, we studied that we use the mean with all nouns, but here we will study that with proper feminine noun, we cannot use the mean, we will use only one Dhamma. Okay. Miss Vidad, read this vocabulary. Yeah. Okay. Al Hammam bathroom, the bathroom, right? Um, Al Mirhad toilet, Aliyin, Ala, on, yeah, Ala, on Al Matbach, the kitchen, Aina, where, Al Samao, sky, Fi, in, Orfa, room. Al Faslu classroom. Next we have Miss Karima. Oh, I have to read this yes. in this lesson for A. In this part. We learn two more prepositions, min meaning from and ila meaning to. We also learn two more pronouns, ana and anta. Ana is I and anta is you. Um, ana is I for both masculine and feminine. Example, uh, ana Muhammad, ana Amina. I am Muhammad, I am Amina. But anta, you is only for masculine singular. You will learn the feminine and plural forms later. So this is just uh, so a that is that and you and all need to memorize, okay? Miss Sabina. Yes, sir. Next. We also learn here two verbs, Zahaba, he went, and Kharaja, he went out. Note the following. Aina Bilalun, where is Bilal? Zahaba ilal masjidi, he went to the mosque. Zahaba Bilalun Ilal Masjidi. Bilal went to the mosque. So Zahaba means he went, but it, if it is followed by a noun as the subject, the pronoun he is dropped. Like Mina becomes Al. It is followed by Al, it becomes Min. So basically, means, normally we say Min, but when there is a word starting with Alif Lam next to it, we say Minal Masjidi. Minal Baiti, we pronounce Fata in Fata. 
إلى to الهند إنديا المدرسة the school اليابان جابان المدير headmaster السوق market سين السين China الفلبين the Philippines الجامعة university the university Next time, inshallah, we'll continue on the Surabhi. Anybody, any question? See you all next time. Inshallah, ma'as-salama. Ma'as-salama. Jazakallah khair. Wa'alaikum.